How to tell your employer you have cancer. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. In the United States, about half of all men and a third of all women will develop some form of cancer in their lifetimes. If you're one of the many who's recently been diagnosed, chances are you will need to tell your employer about it. Experts recommend you approach this difficult task just as you would any other professional assignment. Here's how. Step 1. Manage yourself. It's essential you start by managing your emotions. To do this, you might want to consult a therapist or join a cancer support group. It's important to come to terms with your cancer before you tell your employer, because if you are still in a state of denial about it, or you are emotionally raw, it will put your boss in an uncomfortable position. Step two, have your facts straight. Before scheduling a meeting with your employer to reveal the fact that you have cancer, it's best to be prepared with as many facts as possible. This means finding out from your doctor how much time you will need to take off from work for treatment. Count on having some days you will just be too tired to work. Step 3. Corporate Strategy Come up with some strategies on how your company can survive your absence. Brainstorm some ways your workload can be handled. Maybe you can telecommute, or perhaps you know of someone who can sub for you. Your employer may or may not like your strategy, but at least you'll have started a positive dialogue on how the company will continue to meet its goals. Step 4. Present your case. When it's time to sit down with your boss, try and present your case in as straightforward a manner as possible. It's better to let the facts speak for themselves than try and make an emotional appeal for sympathy. If you have a reasonable chance for recovery, refer to your cancer as something you need to take care of and that you expect to be back to normal someday soon. Step 5. Office Gossip To avoid awkward exchanges that might make you feel worse about your condition, ask your boss to keep your cancer confidential for the time being. Tell him or her that you would like to choose when and how your coworkers find out. If and when you decide to tell your coworkers, experts recommend you proceed with caution. Start by selecting someone you trust. You should not feel as though you have to tell them all of the details of what you're experiencing or feeling. Honesty is good, but honesty in small increments is also okay. Step 6. Know your rights. Hopefully, your employer will react compassionately to your news, but in the event they don't, you should know your rights. The Americans with Disabilities Act prohibits discrimination by both public and private employers against qualified workers with disabilities or histories of disabilities. Also, the Federal Rehabilitation Act of 1973 ensures that federal employers or companies receiving federal funds cannot discriminate against cancer survivors in hiring practices, promotions, transfers, and layoffs. For employers with 50 or more employees, the Family and Medical Leave Act FMLA, requires employers to grant medical leave when necessary. You may have additional employment protections depending on the laws in your state. Go online to find out which laws apply to your case. Step 7. Reinforce the positive. If your employer responds to your news in a constructive, positive manner, and there's a good chance they will, it's important to positively reinforce their support. Let your employer know how much it means to you that they have compassion for your health challenge and that you appreciate their positive response. Done.